welcome back to the channel today we have something really special going on and uh, it's going to be blue's birthday so i'm planning to make an outfit for him so for any one of you who doesn't know who blue is blue is actually my favorite cat he has been um with me since two years ago where i picked him up at my shop's doorstep and he was actually quite sick that time so i decided to take him back home and he has been with me ever since and it's going to be his birthday uh, next month and i'm planning to do something special for him and that is why i decided i want to make a cute and interesting outfit for him so today i'm going to start researching and get some inspiration on what kind of outfits i should make for him i want to make him look cool because to me he's really cute but i want him to look cool this is actually my first time making an outfit for a pet and it was a struggle to get his measurements because he just doesn't like the measuring tape. I think he finds it intimidating. So we're going to start uh, the research right away on Pinterest. So I have already opened up some pages here and there are actually a lot of cool outfits for cats here and some are ridiculous, some are really cute but I think I want to make something really simple and lightweight because it's summer all year round in Malaysia and it's going to be really hot I don't want him to feel suffocated so I want to make something really simple, lightweight, cool and I think I really want to make a hat for him. And this cat is really cute with all the hats and accessories going on. And there are a lot of other really special... Oh my god, this cat is really cute. Yeah, but not something so heavy, but maybe something simpler like a lightweight chambray shirt as jacket and a jersey inner as t-shirt and then maybe a hat it's not winter so i will try to get something simpler ah, maybe this one maybe i'll make something like this for him as the hat but using maybe like um dark color and make him look cool and I think I don't want to make clothes that only for the front part of his body because I can see some of the outfits that literally stops just right after the first limb which I think it's really weird so I want to make something that maybe goes until like part of his body before it ends and allow me to put some openings on behind of him because he is a very wild cat and he just doesn't wear something easily it took me ages for him to just wear the harness and he can just shake them off like really quickly and i bought this sock for him he just managed to remove it like within seconds so I hope he will stay and let me just take a few photos of him and video him wearing the outfit properly because it will be a waste if he's not willing to wear them so but anyways I'm going to try make the outfit and make the patterns and I will video the process along the way how I make it and how it failed Hopefully it doesn't fail. I will show the final results in the end of this video so stay tuned and watch how it turned out. But I hope we can succeed in this project. So without further ado, I will begin the project right now.
he is honestly the cutest thing in this world. So, boy, we have your design here. This is going to be your outfit. So, I'm going to make something like this for him. A hat. A wood. Hi, guys. So, now I'm back in my workshop and I'm ready to start making the paper pattern for uh, Blue's costume. So I got some paper, ruler, and my pencil here ready for the work. And this is going to be the design for him. I have the measurements here with me as well. It was really difficult to get the measurement, but um, at least I got some of them figured out. So I can just start making the paper patterns and then the prototype so that we can try it on him and check if the paper pattern is working well. So let's get started on the paper patterns. So now after making the patterns and trying to figure out the measurements and everything for almost um, one and a half hour, I've got all the paper patterns ready here. So tomorrow I'll be transferring all these paper patterns onto the fabrics that I chose and start making the prototype. And I'll be putting on this prototype onto blue and check how uh, the fit goes. So hopefully everything will go on smoothly and perfect it in one try but of course if there is any problem I will try to fix it on the spot and uh, gauge uh, what are the measurements or the positions of the armhole should be adjusted. So um, uh, we'll see how the process uh, unfolds. So let's hope that everything will go on smoothly tomorrow. So today we are going to transfer all these paper patterns onto the fabric that I chose. And I've got some of the fabric selected. And unfortunately, the denim fabric that I plan to use is a little bit too thick for the outfit because I think it's going to restrict a lot of movement for blue because it's really thick and stiff so I decided to script that thought and move on so I instead I selected another type of fabric for the outer part of the design which is a dark blue cotton fabric I kind of like this fabric because it's uh, lightweight and it's pure cotton. So I was thinking it will look good against the white of the shirt. So I'm going to make this for the outer part of the design. Together with this um, neat type of fabric on the inside, it's very stretchable. So these are the two... Um, fabrics for the main outfit and I'll be using this denim for the hat part because it's very stiff so I think it will retain the shape of the hat on blue but I don't think he's going to wear it for a long time so I'm going to start transferring the paper patterns onto the fabrics right now
So yesterday I already finished with the pattern cutting and I've got all the panels ready here. So today I'm going to start making the prototype of Blue's outfit. The first step I'm going to do is to make the bodice of the shirt and try it out on Blue and check if the fit is okay. And after that, I will decide whether I will move forward to the next step or should I make adjustments on the paper pattern before I continue. So, let's begin. Fitting session in progress. There's this uh, collar going to come over here. <laughs> the back. We will have buttons over here. I think overall is all right. He's comfortable. So we're going to finish up and dress him up. We don't have much time because Blue is going to get impatient with this in a very short time. Yeah. 